So yes, I'm going to go explain um, a new module we're adding in, in support really of moving JetPress into the packaging area. Colour is obviously a very important aspect of the whole quality story of our JetPress systems. And we already have a colour path system, but we're now sort of <coughs> moving that forward to the, to the next level. When we look at moments around spot colours and their usage today, that really comes from an offset way of printing. And two of the key reasons we use spot colours, we need to have some colour consistency, um, very important, especially in packaging worlds. And also, in an offset world, to add more vibrancy to the colours because the, the colour gamut was a little bit restricted. But colour consistency and vibrancy are both elements that we actually get out of the jet press. But what we need to manage is that work coming into production is still defining colours as Pantone colours or spot colours. So we need to have a system that manages that whole process. And that is the purpose of Brand Colour Optimizer. It profiles the whole Pantone library. It optimizes that library to get the best out of the system. And one of the unique elements of this solution is it will predict. It will predict what color, how accurate those spot colors will be before you actually commit to the print process. So a very useful tool for printers to have when they're actually, there's often a lot of time wasted chasing trying to match uh, Pantone colors. But in this case, you know up front if that's achievable or not. And we print up to 90% of the Pantone library um, on a four color press. So again, that, that's making use really of the whole wide gamut aspect of the jet press systems. So the variations we have in terms of color output from the jet press, we can print to, to ISO standards, the various um, conformances we have there, but all based around the ISO standards and max gamut, which has been a, a component of jet press for some time as well. We can now add to these processes and add multiple spot colors into that printing process as well. And while this is an application, you could say specifically, or more importantly for packaging, it also applies to any brand work that, uh, that, is, that is taken on board by, by our customers. So how do we achieve this? We essentially have two types of color management taking place at the same time. So for the CMYK elements of a job, we already have a color profiling system for that, and that is, that is used in a regular way. But when we actually detect Pantone colors, then we apply the alternative brand color optimizer approach to color within the same job. So we're not trying to stretch an existing color management system. We're not compromising on the existing color management that exists today. Uh, what we're doing is adding on another level, another layer on top of that. The reason we get this to be so accurate is because this is the only system that will go through and measure every Pantone color as a means of optimizing that library. Typically what happens when you're talking about a world of spot colors, you'll have color profiles, you'll have the Pantone space, and there'll be some calculations and interpolation made in terms of how do I get from one to the other. So some colors will match, but it's not going to match every color in the system. So what we do across these three charts is actually print every Pantone color. So in this case, some 1,872 Pantone colors are actually printed across the three charts and we measure every patch. So this doesn't take long either. It's typically a 45 minute process to produce a full optimized Pantone library. Um, this, is very, this is specific to, to media type. So clearly, you're not going to achieve the full gamut on, on all, all our media stocks. So this optimization process, you need to run for each type of media that you use. But at only 45 minutes, that's no real overhead. It's a process that pretty much takes place once. The stability of the system means that you can therefore just work with, this, with the system um, into the future. To visualize the extent of the Pantones that we, that we have here, so this, the inner colored area here is, is the color space of, of offset litho. You can see the outer one here is the max gamut of the jet press. And you can see all the dots on here are actually all the individual Pantone colors that exist in the, in the Pantone library. So 90% of them fall within inside the color gamut of the jet press. So the software alone is, does not mean we can print more Pantone colors. The number of colors we can print is actually governed by the, the color gamut of the actual system. But what it does do means is we can print them as accurately as possible 
and bring, that, bring down that colour deviation from the standards to an absolute minimum. So in terms of the measurements we've quoted before, typically 90% of the Pantone colours we can print. What we're essentially saying is within a delta E of three or less. So most of those are coming in well below that target. Um, but this, again, it depends on the standards you want to work to in terms of, 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 your, of, your, of the printing. So, you know, the system will allow you to actually set what your standards are and to make these checks up front in terms of, is the accuracy I'm printing good enough for this particular client, for this particular piece of work? And again, just reiterating, on a four-color press. So ColorPath itself is a cloud-based system. So going into this system, you can then just, for a particular job, or you're taking on a work from a new client, you can just type in the Pantone colors, either the numbers or the names, and just do a check on the system. And the system will tell you, OK, for this particular color, you're going to be within a delta E of 1.2, or whatever that number turns out to be. The reason we get this to be so accurate is that we have a three-pronged approach to the actual whole optimization process. The target, in this case, is the Pantone spot color. We then predict how accurate we believe that color is going to come through, and we also measure. And if we go through that process and find between the predicted and the measured there is a difference, we go through the cycle one more time, but never more than twice. And that's what gives us the assurance that the predictions that we're actually saying for all of these colors are accurate because we've gone through and actually measured that for the entire Pantone library. Another important aspect to this, especially for packaging, is the need for reports. So there's lots of reports required on color almost as a guarantee or, or we've conformed that we've printed to these standards that, we, that we've quoted. There are various reports that can be obtained from the system. So this will be a report just of the spot colors in a particular job and can be delivered to the client uh, as, a, as a measure to say, okay, for this particular job, we had four spot colors in here, and this is the accuracy we had in terms of the print process. And again, just another level of guarantee to prove what we're actually achieving in printing spot colors uh, on, on the new, new jet press. So spot colors isn't new to jet press. This has been possible prior to coming through with the, the, the 750S. But we now have two levels of spot color matching tools, depending on what work type the customer takes on. So the spot color matching tool was the tool that's been there from the beginning, and this matches a specific spot color. So you'll go through and choose a specific Pantone color. You'll get an array of color charts all around that color that we printed out. You choose which one is closest to, the, to, that, to, to your reference, and you repeat that process a few times. And you will come to a very accurate um, match of a spot color tool. The brand color optimizer, in the same time it takes to actually optimize one color, you optimize the entire library. So really it's down to the choice of the customer and the work type. For packaging, this would be a must. For general commercial print work, where you get occasional spot color work coming in, the tool that exists today is, is more than sufficient. So there's a choice there now based on application. I've mentioned Pantone throughout uh, in terms of a spot color, but it's not only Pantone that's used for color references. There's HKS, there's Toyo Inks, there are others. Some companies and brands have their own definition of their own colors. So as long as we can actually obtain the information explaining or, or the, the colorimetric information for these Pantone or spot color libraries, all of these are supported within the system. So it's not just specific to, uh, to, to Pantone. It is a general spot color management system. I'll say to close on this, then just to go through uh, the, the, the four key points of what we're delivering with Brand Core Optimizer. The, 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 most, well, the, the first one there is the accuracy of the prediction. I and mean, that is probably the, the, the key unique element to this in terms of you're having to, you can predict before printing how accurate you're going to be. It's measurement based on every color within the Pantone library. So again, that, that's what brings us in the, the, the level of quality and the detail that we have. We can optimize the whole library in less than an hour. And reports, the reports are an easy um, way to get um, information out of the system to, to pass on with the, um, with the job. Okay, I'll hand you back to, uh, to Graham.